360 Blockchain Inc. is a stock to watch because we were early in the space. As everybody knows, blockchain is now a very hot topic with a lot of people, and there are a lot of investments coming in here. There are a lot of companies that are just adding blockchain to a name, try to capitalize on it. We were in very early, if not among the first. We already have strategic investments in companies that have real use cases and real utility for blockchain. In terms of investors, the difference between Bitcoin and blockchain is, is very important to understand. Bitcoin did essentially invent blockchain. It rolled out about 10 years ago, and the underlying technology called blockchain was soon seen to have great utility. So a lot of people started taking the blockchain out of Bitcoin. Now, it's still very possible and popular to invest in Bitcoin and the 13, 1500 other cryptocurrencies out there. But as we know, to describe them as volatile is an understatement. Bitcoin's volatility is you know, enough to make your head spin. And unless you're a really risk-taking investor, you, you might not want to put your exposure into cryptocurrencies right now. Will those markets mature? I think so. But right now, they're still a roller coaster. That's why the good investment opportunities are in blockchain opportunities. So not every blockchain opportunity involves cryptocurrency. It could be the same technology. In our case for Pressland, we're going to use blockchain to create a platform for media trustworthiness. There won't be volatility in this kind of market because the blockchain isn't being used to create currency that's floating on the market. We're creating a token that's used on our platform. Other investments uh, in the field are in healthcare, in real estate, and again, these are blockchain-powered investments. And at 360 Blockchain Inc., that's what we're looking for. We're looking for companies that see the underlying technology as the driving force for their new product and their innovations. One of the big issues right now, especially from an investor's point of view, is hearing all the hype and the media coverage surrounding ICOs. They're called initial coin offerings, and they're, they were intentionally named to sound like an IPO. Now, three years ago, it was a smaller world in crypto, and it was a new coin that came out, and Ethereum. These kind of coins were brought out to the public is sort of in the same way that an IPO was. They were created, and people had an opportunity to buy the first ones. Today, it's a misnomer. We're not launching new coins. We're actually launching tokens. And tokens live on top of other blockchains. So if you think of something like Ethereum as the uh, operating system of your phone, all these new tokens are sort of the apps that run on your phones. So you'll find that the term TGE is taking favor, token generation events. But there's really no, no standard term yet. So you will still see ICOs. And I believe actually ICOs will probably stick around as the name, even though it's a misnomer. 2017 was the year that cryptocurrencies went mainstream. It's been a wild ride. As somebody who's been in it on a, on a personal level for a couple years, uh, the cryptocurrency explosion was, was mind-boggling. It, it started out as a, a relatively small community of enthusiasts who traded, and there was a lot of money to be made and lost, but it wasn't open to the public in, in the way that it is now. And this is good and bad. There's a lot of risk, and the average investor it may not be accustomed to this kind of risk, but the cryptocurrency world, on the other hand, gets a little bored with traditional investing. You know, a 5% return year over year doesn't excite cryptocurrency investors. They want this wild ride, and it could be wild. You will see portfolio values, you know, you'll wake up one morning and you, you're up or down 30 or 40%, and you may recover or correct by the end of the day, oh, there is no end of the day. Cryptocurrency is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week global market. I know traders who stay up all night to trade against the Asian markets who are participating. It's not for the faint of heart. You need nerves of steel and a high tolerance for risk. And that's actually, as, as a company, 360 Blockchain Inc., we don't really have any exposure directly into cryptocurrency. We have mining operations, and we have some uh, portfolio companies that may hold their own token events. But in terms of direct investing directly into cryptocurrencies or any of the index funds that are coming up, you know, we're staying out of it. I, I, I do that as on a personal level, and we don't do that as a company.